Didn't see you there. Just uh, perusing the, uh, the draft board here for uh, 2015. I'm Dale Denzel. That's Jordan West. And uh, we'll be giving you the draft board report cards. Is that what we're calling it? Sure, why not? Okay, great. <laughs> First up here is Chris. He had the number one overall pick with Le'Veon Bell. Suspension uh, taken down to one game, so that's good for him. The thing that really sticks out to me is that he has to worry about health because LaShawn McCoy, he's not been healthy. Uh... Actually, I thought he had Peyton Manning, but Eli Manning's actually a bit of a word. Alshon Jeffrey not been healthy. Alshon Jeffrey's not been healthy. Okay. So, uh, and Reggie Bush as well. I don't think he's ever played a full season, so he's got to worry about health. That's what sticks out to me about Chris. Yeah, I agree. Uh, yeah, like you said, Le'Veon Bell out a week. Obviously, Alshon Jeffrey could be out. Lashawn McCoy could be out. Week one, he could be hurting early. Uh, and then, like you said, other guys like Shane Vereen often hurt. He's got a lottery ticket in Mari Cooper. You don't know if him and Derek Carr are going to be hooking up as well as you would hope. So, Trey Mason, you know what's going to happen once, uh, not Gurley, Gordon? Yeah, Gurley. Yeah, uh, Gurley comes back. Starting running back. Or yeah, that, you so know. you know what's going to happen with him when he comes back? It's, overall, I think it's a good team, but he needs things to pan out well for him to, uh, have success. Really like Reuben Randall. Uh, I give him a B. Uh, I got a, I got a C plus. Let's move on to Rob, who's, uh, picked, uh, second overall with, uh, Jamal Charles. And, uh, he's got a pretty solid team. Um, the big question... On his team is Arian Foster. He spent a third round pick on him, and he could be back anywhere from week three to week eight. So that that to me that that's the big question on uh, Rob's team. Yeah, I I like Jamal Charles. I like T.Y. Hilton potentially, but obviously Andrew Luck could run, spreading the ball around more with uh, Andre Johnson. He's got Frank Gore now to dump it off to. Uh, but yeah, Arian Foster, obviously the make or break player on the team. Uh, Initially reported that he wouldn't be back until about November. Now he's saying that he could be back by week three or so. So definitely someone to pay attention to there. I like Brandon Marshall here. Ryan Fitzpatrick probably pretty good. He had a down year last year. Marshall did, but he was injured a lot. Tom Brady shot up the draft boards after he got a suspension reduced, but who knows? He could actually be resuspended if the appeal goes through by the NFL. But I mean, it seems like a pretty good team. I would give him a. I'd give him a B overall. Garcon seems like it's a bit of a reach, and I'm not a, uh, as high on Marshall as you are. Um, I, I'd give it about a B minus. Okay, moving on to Jeff. Uh, Jeff started off with Marshawn Lynch, solid pick overall. He, you can't, you can't fault someone for taking Lynch. Uh, kept on going, Carlos Hyde could have a good year, but San Francisco, a little bit of a iffy team there. You don't know if their uh, offense is going to be good. He's the man now in San Francisco he now is, that he, uh, Gore is gone. Yeah, definitely a starting running back, but you don't know how good their offense is going to be. Kaepernick could bounce back, and him and Hyde could have a little bit of a, a chemistry there. Uh, I think he reached, a, obviously, Matt Ryan. He's my boy. I love Matt Ryan, but I think a little bit of a reach, especially you have Peyton Manning on the board, you got Drew Brees on the board over there, Devontae Freeman, I'm not trusting the Atlanta backfield to tr bring anything, Cody Ladmer seemed like a little bit of a reach, I like Ronnie Hillman, if uh, you don't know if CJ Anderson is going to produce or not, uh, that's a very questionable backfield, uh, Marcus Mariota, I'm not a big fan of that pick, um, I don't know who Crockett Gilmore is, I'm sorry. I'm giving him. I'm. I'm giving you a D plus, Jeff. Not. Not my favorite. Not my favorite pick here. Could, uh, Brandon Cooks could be a pretty good PPR uh, receiver. Um, I'm going to give you, however, uh, a solid C. Let's move on to uh, Mike Penis. Uh, he spent his first uh, pick on Demarco Murray, uh, recently traded, or I think uh, actually free agent acquisition by uh, Philadelphia. So he'll be the man in Philly. Uh, second, Randall Cobb. Uh, we have Garrett Graham, but I think you mean Jimmy Graham. So I think those are, that's a th it's a pretty good top three. It's one of the better top threes on the board, actually. Uh, mm -hmm. Like your team, you kind of light on backs. Hopefully Amir Abdullah uh, pans out for you. Uh, but other than that, you got some really good value down there with Colin Kaepernick in, the, in round 15. Uh, and Monte Ball is not currently on a roster. So you might want to do some tinkering there uh, prior to week one. Yeah, like you said, uh, 
Uh, pretty good top three. Uh, DeMarco Murray, I think, was a little bit of a reach, but I can't fault you for taking him there. If you believe DeMarco Murray, you believe in him. I think that he was partially a product of Dallas's offensive line. Obviously, he's very skilled back, but who knows how he'll do in Philly, especially because they have guys like Ryan Matthews to take carries away from him. Uh, Cobb, obviously good. Jimmy Graham, solid. Peyton Manning, if you believe in him, solid. But I don't know, he can't feel his fingertips. Uh, I don't think that's good for when you're trying to throw a football. Uh, like, like Dale said, a little bit weak at the running back position. Not too much depth. Uh, Kaepernick, I do like that pick. But I don't know if you'll need him. We'll see how Peyton Manning works out. And yeah, like you said, Monte Ball, not... He got waived by the Broncos earlier today. Not on a roster right now. Uh, but not not a terrible draft. I'll give you a C-plus overall. Uh, yeah, I'll give you a, a C. Uh, let's go to TJ's uh, roster. You know, I'm not really big. I was never really big on the, the Denver backs, even last year or the year before that. So I think C.J. Anderson, I would have not taken him in the second round. L ditto for Lamar Miller, who I've never really been big on. Uh, Jonathan Stewart will be a solid eight points a game. Uh, I like uh, Big Ben at that at, uh, at the, in the sixth round. Um, so hopefully, since I don't like your top backs, I think you got some value here for Todd Gurley in the eighth round. Um, that could work out for you. And uh, what else I don't like? I don't like Stevie Johnson that much after having him for a few years. Uh, not a big fan. Uh, obviously, Antonio Brown, especially in PPR, you cannot, that's a, an amazing pick. Absolutely. He, he falls that far, you have to take him. There's no way. Yep. Even with Peterson and Lakes yep. on the board, yep. that's an amazing take pick. take Antonio. Uh, I agree with Dale. I'm not that big on C.J. Anderson. Uh, I would have much rather had Ronnie Hillman later because right. it's better value, and I don't trust any running backs on that team because, like, the past couple years, they have, you had Monte Ball before. None of them have been producing at the top positions. I like Lamar Miller. Uh, Jonathan Stewart's good. I like him to take the bulk of the carries, except if he gets hurt like he has recently, that could be a little bit of trouble. Uh, ben Roethlisberger, I think easily, he could very easily be a top five uh, quarterback this year. Um, but, like I said, you got Lamar Miller, I like him. You got Todd Gurley, once he comes back from injury, could be solid. Like I said before, with uh, Devontae Freeman, I'm not that big on the Atlanta backfield with Tevin Coleman either. Uh, I would give you uh, probably about a B minus overall in the draft there. And if I had to give it a grade, I'd say that's uh, uh, C plus. Sports Center, brought to you by AutoZone. When your car takes a giant shit, get into the zone. AutoZone. Sign up today for AutoZone Rewards and earn store credit that'll come in handy. For your next project, spend $20 or more five times and earn $20 store credit. Welcome back from uh, commercial break. Uh, I'm Jordan West. We have Dale Denzel over here doing draft grades for uh, the 2015 Bush League Draft, the fifth season of our league. Uh, we left off with Austin, Austin 47. Uh, he had, obviously, Adrian Peterson. You cannot fault that pick. Solid. Uh, going down, Justin Forsett. Not terrible. You have to, he's old, but you never know. He could uh, continue his uh, breakout year from last year. Aaron Rodgers fell pretty far. Uh, I like, you took a lot of receivers right here. Uh, as long as two of them break out, then you aren't bad. Between Macklin, Deckler, Bolden, and Steve Smith. Uh, you took your boy Bishop Sankey down here. I don't know. He, uh, they got some more running back depth through Cleveland, I believe. They took Terrence West. I do like your sleepers, though. You got Matt Jones. I think that there's a very good chance that he uh, takes over for Alfred Morris, at least not after a few weeks into the season. And I am a fan of Terrence West there, so... Williams? Or Terrence Williams, sorry, yes, not Terrence West. I don't like this team. I like Peterson at number one. It seems like you kind of reached for four set. You took Rodgers way too damn high. None of your receivers are going to do anything. Uh, Miller was okay there. And, uh, I, you know, Doug Baldwin. 
You have a grade? You want to give a grade? F. <laughs> F. I'm going to be a little bit more generous. I will assume, I, I like Mac a lot, so I'm going to assume that at least he fans out, and possibly, hopefully, one of these guys. He has Air, Alex Smith throwing to him. Guess what team had no uh, wide receiver touchdowns last year? Yes, that's my point exactly. That's why they brought in Jerry. Jerry Macklin is not Dwayne Bow. <laughs> that's true. <laughs> <laughs> I, give, I give Austin a solid C. He has potential, but not that great of a roster overall. Moving on to uh, Bale's team. He will uh, step back for this one. I will just give a grade for him. Eddie Lacy fell to a pretty decent level. Amazing pick. I mean, you can't, you can't pass up on him in here. A.J. Green, he's the bane of my existence. I hate him more than anybody else in the entire NFL. But he's been productive every year that he's been healthy, as long, even with Andy Dalton throwing him the ball. Frank Gore. I kind of want a Frank Gore, but he could be done. C.J. Spiller could be a good PPR pick, but the Saints, you never know what they're doing. Can't trust many offensive positions except the past years, Drew Brees and Jimmy Graham. It's a little bit iffy. Uh, T.J. Eldon, I'm, I hate T.J. Eldon this year. I am very much more on the Denard train. He has been terrible in camp. He's been terrible in preseason. I do not like him. Uh, Tony Romo, as long as his bones don't collapse, he could be good. But even if he's not, you got Ryan Tannehill, who is one quarterback that I was very high on all year, all offseason. Um, overall, tight end position, you got guys that are okay, I guess. Depends on how the Jacksonville offense does once Thomas comes back. Team is has potential, but it's got a lot of lot of old guys. So nothing nothing really standing out as like eye popping players, but you got some constant uh, contributors who have been good year after year after year. So I'll I'll give you a B minus. Uh, your team could be better if Frank Gore busts out, uh, if Julius Thomas does anything, but. Overall, I'll give you a B minus to start. Let's move on to Derek. He was the only team that took two wide receivers in the first two rounds, and Odell Beckham, uh, Odell Beckham Jr., who's a stud, and Demarius Thomas, who is the number one in Denver. So I think I really like those two picks. I think you got some. I think you got some more kind of underrated running backs there in uh, three and four with Andre Ellington and Giovanni Bernard. Um, you got Drew Brees, uh, six, that's probably, you know, the latest you could wait to, to take Brees. I think you kind of reach there for the Seattle defense. I don't think you need to take a, Se uh, a defense that high. I hate the Antonio Gates pick. One, he's done for like five games, and, uh, I don't think he's going to be that good when he gets back. So, but you made up for it with Kobe Fleener, who could be okay, he could be one of the, uh, coterie of receivers there in uh, Indianapolis. Fred Jackson, I think he's on a team. He, We're not he, he quite signed, sure. Signed to Seattle. Signed, signed to Seattle. Seattle. Back up to Marshawn Lynch. Okay. Alfred Blue, uh, that could work out early on with Arian Foster out. Uh, other than that, Percy Harvin, I think, is a locker room cancer. Um, okay, Odell Beckham Jr., I think a little bit of a reach there. Uh, he showed amazing last year, but I do not trust him enough. He's only played in nine games in the NFL. I don't think that any player who's only played in nine NFL games deserves to be a first-round pick. I don't care how good you looked. Uh, Demarius Thomas, solid pick. He fell way farther than he should have. Can't pass him up there. Uh, Andre Ellington and Giovanni Bernard. Ellington, I think that he will be great as long as he stays healthy, but he has had problems with that in the past couple of years. Bernard, I took Jeremy Hill. I really like him there. But I do believe that the Bengals can produce two at least startable running backs there. Uh, going down, yeah, Seattle defense, I think obviously a reach. Um, I don't think that any defense should be taken that early. And Seattle is very overrated, I think, in fantasy potential. They have been obviously probably the best defense in the league NFL-wise, but they do not produce the points that you would have hoped. Like they were, I don't even think they were top 10 fantasy defense last year. I don't think that they're worth that pick. Uh, continuing, Antonio Gates, I agree with Dale. Not a good pick. He is going to be missing way too many games to be worth that kind of a draft pick. Uh, Fred Jackson, only good if Marshawn goes down. Alfred Blue, like we were talking earlier with uh, Arian Foster, he could be good while Foster is out, but they also brought in... Uh, 
Christine Michael. No. Backup running back from the Browns. Okay. Not Isaiah Crowell, the other one. All right. Whatever his name was. They brought him in. So I, don't, I think that he'll be cutting into Alfred Blue's carries. So he could still be out there for you. And I like the, honestly, I like the Harry Douglas pick. Yeah. I'm not trying to be like an Atlanta homer or anything. I do love my Mason H. Doug. But he has been lighting up. Him and Mariota have had good chemistry all preseason. He could actually be a solid, like, top 30 fantasy wide receiver this year. Uh, I give Derek a, a B. Uh, I will give him a B minus. He has potential, but I think that he had a couple of reaches, and he has a little bit of injury concern between Ellington and Bell especially. Speaking of potential, I kind of like Chinny's team. Chinny started off with Matt Forte, obviously one of the elite uh, running backs. He's got an elite wide receiver. Those are solid two first picks. Now, if Alfred, the whole key to this entire season is Alfred Morris and how he does. If Alfred Morris is your solid number two running back, then you're going to have a pretty good season. Because you got Matthew Stafford flinging it. Um, you have two solid tight ends. If Jason Witten goes down, he is a favorite target of Tony Romo, but if he goes down, then Zach Ertz is more than good enough for a replacement. You have the almost undisputed second-best defense in uh, Buffalo. They'll, like, take the ball away, get you those defense points. Um, Victor Cruz, I think you got some value there. Uh, Odell Beckham Jr., I expect him to have a really great year, but uh, he may take a step back, and then Cruz fully healthy, could be, you know, more of a factor. Crabtree, great troll pick. Uh, Darren McFadden, terrible. So, uh, I actually really like Cheney's team. Uh, his team's not terrible. I will, it's probably the best team that he has drafted in all of his years of playing fantasy football with us. Uh, it's not amazing. Uh, Forte, I am on the fence about because the Bears are probably going to be really bad this year. So, there's not going to be any opportunities to run the ball. So, Forte, I'm not the highest on him, but he's very skilled. Especially in PPR, he could be very good. Uh, Dez, obviously amazing. Alfred Morris, like you said, that is the pick. The Washington offense is garbage. But, if they cannot be completely garbage, Alfred Morris is going to be a key part of that offense. So, as long as they can keep something together, then he should be good. I think that was definitely a reach on Safford by quite a few rounds. Like, you got guys like Matt Ryan, Tom Brady, Peyton Manning, Drew Brees going after him. Not the best pick. But he could go back to uh, his 2011, 2012 season, whatever it was, where he had a top five quarterback year. 5,000 yards. When something catches Charlie's eye that makes his pulse rate climb, he uses a whistle a weekend. Wild Root, it gets her every time. That's because Wild Root grooms clean as a whistle, quick as a wink. Works fast, disappears in your hair, grooms with no greasiness at all. That's why when Charlie sees a lovely girl, a girl like yours or mine, he uses a whistle, a wink, and Wild Root, it gets her every time. Welcome back to our draft grade uh, report card. Are you recording? Okay. No, I can't read it. There's no, there's no words on it. Nope. We'll do it live. Fuck it. Do it live. I can, I'll write it and we'll do it live. Uh, we're going to go with uh, Matt here. Uh, he took the first tight end off the board. Uh, like that pick. It seems like Gronk. He's always a monster every single year. Uh, Mark Ingram is... You know, there's a lot of uh, a lot of backs there in New Orleans, but he's definitely going to uh, get most of the carries. Um, I like Emmanuel Sanders there. He's not Demarius, but I still think Emmanuel Sanders is going to get some uh, some uh, touches there. Russell Wilson, I don't like that high. Uh, Joseph Randall, uh, I don't think that's going to work out. Uh, Isaiah Crowell, I don't like anything on the uh, Cleveland Browns. I like Denard. Other than that, no. I don't really like the team. Sorry. Um, D. Uh, I agree. Gronkowski pick was amazing. That was a good pick. Can't argue with that in the first round. Uh, Ingram, I think, is okay. But in PPR, not as good as he would be in standard scoring. Mm -hmm. 
I don't know if the Broncos are going to be passing enough for two top first three round receivers to be producing as you would hope. So I don't know if I like that pick that much. Wilson, I actually disagree with Dale. I do like Russell Wilson. I think that uh, Marshawn Lynch is going to get less carries at the goal line. There's going to be more targets for Jimmy Graham, which gives Wilson more passing attempts in the red zone, which I think can boost his value a little bit. Uh, don't like Randall. I don't like anyone on that, the running back there. Also don't like the Browns. Uh, Kendall Wright, like I said when we were drafting, he's the kind of guy who... He's too good to remove from your team, but he's never going to enter your starting lineup. He's, he's the, the most in, in-between player you could have in all of fantasy. Uh, other than him, I do like Denard. I think, I'm think i not a big fan of TJ Yeldon. I think that Denard, he put on some weight in the offseason. He could actually become a legitimate running back, and hopefully he does not get hurt. Uh, I don't know. Not not great, but I'll give you a deep plus. It's not awful. All right, and that brings us to Jordan's team. Um, at this point in the draft, Julio Jones was the only pick that made sense. Uh, Jeremy Hill probably, eh, I'm, I'm not in love with him, but he fell to you because Nubs took Flacco there in the first round. Mike Evans, that all depends on how that Tampa Bay offense is going to work. If you're high on that offense, then Mike Evans was a, it was a pretty good pick there in the third round. Andrew Luck fell to you, so if you're more of a, a QB high strategy, then that's a, that was the obvious pick to go with there. Um, Chris Ivory, I really have no idea how that Jets offense is going to work. They seem to be the, uh, the the Redskins of the AFC, quite frankly. If people are getting punched out and uh, Geno Smith going down like that, I think uh, Jets, not that great. Um, let's go down to Garrett uh, Blunt and uh, Danny Woodhead. Those seem to be uh, pretty decent players that you got pretty late there. Eddie Royal, I don't know how the Bears offense are going to work. There's a lot of question marks on this team. Again, same thing with Jordan Reed there, tight end. You don't know who's going to be throwing him the ball. So there's a lot of question marks. If things go your way, it could be a really good team. Uh, if not, I, I, I just need to see more. Uh, and uh, I, I guess I'm going to give you a, a C plus. Okay, move on to uh, Bynum's team. L- taking Joe Flacco first round. Not the greatest thing that you could do. That was a mistake. A little bit of a mistake. But after that, not Awful. Kelvin Johnson, you can't can't fault that pick. That's a solid pick. Deshaun Jackson, I'm not the hugest fan of, but because he's not good PPR, he gets more long catches, he's very hit and miss, but he gets a lot of points every year. He's consistently top 15, top 20 wide receiver in the league in terms of fantasy points. Uh, biggest problem, I think, is running back. You have taken one, took three, four running backs the entire draft, none of them are really that solid. You took Melvin Gordon here, who has been unimpressive in the preseason. You got Latavius Murray. I kind of like Murray, but not so much when you're banking that much on him to be a starting running back. Uh, Bennett, Chicago could probably go to him a lot, especially because Kevin White got hurt. So it's pretty much him, Jeffries, and Forte. Um, not big on Newton this year with his injuries on his team. He's pretty much got Greg Olson and nobody else to throw to. Uh, continuing down, Vincent Jackson was actually really good value there. I'm surprised he fell that far to the 10th round. And that was I, that was a solid pick, honestly. Um, Vernon Davis, I don't know if I'm missing anything on him. He was not good last year. I don't know why everyone is so super low on him. I don't like him, but I'm not super... I, don't, I, I think that he's worthy of a draft pick, I guess. Uh, Josh Hill could be a replacement for Drew Brees. That's what he was hyped up to be. We don't know how well he will actually turn out to be, though. He doesn't have that many catches or regular season action. Uh, overall, I will give your team a D. A D minus. Not, not a good team, but... You didn't do terrible after the uh, Joe Flacco pick in the first round. Night out on the town. $75. I love you so much. Actually using a line like that? Another $12 bottle of wine. I just can't. Please? 
Dad says to go ahead and give him a blowjob. Or I can do it. Or if need be, he'll come down himself and do it. But for God's sake, tell him to take his hand off the intercom. Having a girlfriend whose father has a sense of humor? Priceless. There are some things money can't buy. For everything else, there's MasterCard. All right. So we got nugs here. Um, basically, you don't have any running backs. Um, I would not be surprised if all of these running backs were not uh, starting come week six. So that could be a major problem for you. And since this is a 12-man league now, there's not going to be the free agents that were there in the 10-man league. So it's going to be really difficult for you to fill this running back spot. The good news is that you have pretty decent receivers. Uh, like you said, uh, Vincent Jackson, you got good uh, value for. Artavis Bryant could have a pretty good year. He is out for the first four he is out season for suspension. A, yes, for suspension, but the good news is that he's not injured. So right. when he gets back, Pittsburgh is going to be a really good team with, uh, with Ben throwing the ball a lot. Um, so you got, um, I, I'm not really high on anyone really on Chicago, but Bennett was, uh, he worked pretty well. I think I had him for a few weeks last year. Um, that could work out for you. So you're going to need to lean more on your receivers and tight ends in the flex position and only start, please, for the love of God, only start two running backs because, uh, woof, D-minus.